Hello everyone! Welcome back to Diddy's Kong Quest! It's a pun! Anyway, when we last left off, we finished getting Plank Galleon. Unfortunately, in order to save, I had to go back into Gang Plank Galleon. And in this game, you cannot simply exit the world that you're in. You actually have to work for it, either by beating the boss or paying your way out. Paying my way out is exactly what I'm going to do, and thankfully there was two banana coins right there, because that's exactly what I need. Now, I forgot if I mentioned this guy right here last time, but I skipped him on purpose because I'm going to use him now. Looking good, dudes. I'm Funky the Main Monkey, and my new Funky's flights can take you anywhere on Crocodile Isle, provided you've already checked it out, of course. Cruise on over to the Barrel Man and ride the skies. And it costs two coins. Cool, she's all yours, dudes. Ch catch her later. And this is how we actually traverse from world to world. Aside from beating the bosses, if you want to exit a level without beating the boss, this is how you do it. Hi! I totally did not forget to do my Patreon shoutouts! And those shoutouts are going to... Lit Dragon and Wario Land Gold Pyramid. Now then, Crocodile Cauldron. We're going into the lava world. Because every single platformer needs a lava world. I mean, heck, not even Super Mario Sunshine could avoid that. If we come up here, there's nothing. I just wanted to point that out. Oh, wait. Um... So I'm already kind of used to this game, and this game has a bunch of crocodiles that automatically bounce you. Those weren't them. Now we got these guys. Actually, I might have already encountered one of those guys, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we got barrels that are actually... Well, I guess you could call them mimics in a way. I mean, instead of fake treasure chests, they are fake barrels. And that over there was one of those bouncy crocodiles. The dark ones are the bouncy ones. You know, technically speaking, for all these platformers that have uh, lava areas, you should just immediately die just by being in them. I mean, it's not the heat that'll kill you, it's the fumes. Lava supposedly has poisonous gas associated with it. That's my understanding anyway. I could entirely be wrong. I've, I've been wrong before. Maybe I'll have to look it up. Or maybe I won't care enough to look it up. Nah, I don't think I care enough. All I know is... I heard that just being near lava will kill you without the right... right something. And that was almost bad. New partner! We got Squidward the Spider. My gosh, I don't care if he's wearing sneakers. If I found a spider this big in this world of ours, I'd move to a different planet. Anyway, there's a Y up there, so press Y, and we can shoot webs from our mouse. Pretty sure spiders don't typically shoot web from their mouse. Also, if you press the A button, you can shoot out a platform web. You can make your own platforms! How cool is that? They're temporary, though, so you gotta be quick. And this is where it actually teaches you to press A. It's not spelling something, it's telling you what button to press. Also, you can aim your shots up and down. Just so you know. Now this whole being able to shoot platforms thing is going to come in handy, and you cannot shoot webs whenever you're bouncing on a crocodile.
Anyway, there's bananas leading up here, where there will be a bonus level. Bonus barrel, bonus room, whatever you want to call it. And as long as they already teach you how to make your own platforms, they're gonna make a bonus barrel where you make your own platforms. Also, I find it interesting that when you exit off the screen, as soon as you reach the edge, er, edge of the screen, it's like you're standing on a platform. You just walk off to the side instead of continue dropping. Well, I could go up there, but I have a feeling that if I take the hard way, I'm gonna find some stuff. Indeed, I am finding some stuff. And it's kind of stuff that I want. So now I'm curious what I missed. What is up there? I'm surprised the game doesn't let you see what's up there. And what's up here is pretty much nothing. Alright, more bonus. Gotta get them all. Well, I don't have to, I just want to. And they're not that difficult to find either. Or at least I don't think they're def that difficult to find. I don't know why I went up there. As long as I see a ledge, I want to try getting up to it just in case I... Uh, just in case there's something up there. In which case, I guess I do know why I looked up there. Just to find out if there was something up there. And that's the end of Squitter. I don't know what all is on that pole, but I just went for it. And what do we have up here? Clubba's Kiosk. Now hear this, landlubbers. Me name is Clubba, and to cross me bridge is gonna cost you many pieces o eight. In other words, those coins up there in the corner. And if yours don't pay up, I'll run your through like the scurvy dog's ER. Ahar! It costs 15 creme coins to cross over, mateys. Well, we don't have 15. So let's fight them. What's wrong with ye? Our bonus rooms must be too hard for you flea bitten chimps to find. Yeah. So, there's an entire secret world in this game, and beating it will unlock the true ending. That is the reason why I want to go for 100%. For now, we can't do that because we haven't even encountered enough coins to do that. Actually, I'm probably going to save it all the way for the end of the game, do the entire world consistently together, something like that. Hi there, Kongs! I've got some amazing star prizes just waiting to be won. I don't have enough coins to go for all of these. Really wish this game actually saved how many banana coins you had. What is the name of the first lava level on this area of the island? Let's see, Boiler Curfew, Meltdown Mayhem, or Hothead Hop? Okay, try this one. You know, I wonder if any of those uh, level names, the wrong level names, were actually planned level names. What is the name of this area of the island? Crocodile Cauldron, Alligator Alley, Crocodile Cove. Cauldron. You clever little monkey, how many times did you have to hit the end of the area giant bird to kill him? In other words, the first boss. He took four hits. Well played! Here, you deserve this. I guess we'll go in order. Yeah, Lucky Lava. What colors were the crocodile heads you jumped on in the first lava level? Please don't tell me both green and brown. Okay. Well, you did tell me both green and brown, but not as separate options. Red and blue, blue and green, green and brown. What is an extra lives balloon colored red worth? Two lives, five lives, one life. 
Excluding the end of area boss, how many levels were there on the first area of the island? Well, let me see here. There was the first level and the third level, which were ship levels. There were two rigging levels, which was when we climbed up the mast. And there was the underwater level, which I forget what that kind of level is called. Maybe underwater level. So I'm going to say five. Let me double check here. One, two, three, then Granny Kong, four, then this guy, five, then, then Mr. Flying Guy, and then the boss. So yeah, five. I knew you'd win this time! Mm-hmm. Really sorry, but you need more to tokens. That's too bad. Until the next time, here on Swanky's Bonus Bonanza. We'll be back. For now, Cannon's Claim. No lava here. Got a bunch of crystals. They were properly formed by lava. I'm pretty sure lava can do that. Lava crystals? That's a thing, right? <sighs> so in case it's not obvious what those... the situation with those are... You can only go in the... barrel with the correct Kong. And considering you need both Kongs in order to get through this part... You better have both Kongs! The good news is, there was a DK barrel right at the start of the level, so odds are you're going to have both Kongs. And that's eventually going to come into play, though, the whole needing both Kongs thing. Okay, what is the deal with that? Nothing, apparently. It's just bananas. And this hook is here so you can dodge barrels, I guess, but he didn't shoot until I was already in his face. I have no idea how I avoided that damage. Here, let's get rid of you. Grab these bananas, because why not? Can I get to 20 lives again? Let's find out. And fall, 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 fall. Oh well, there's a thing here, so... Sure. And make our way back up. Nah. Kind of failed there. And I already killed him, and he was my means to get up to that. Aw. Alright. I have a way to get up there, and I wanna... No, no, no! No, no, no. Let's do a little bit of this. Where's that other barrel? Right there. Which means... There we go. I really wanted a second Kong in order to take on this. Because I cannot guarantee that I'll be able to do this without taking damage! Or, you know... Almost take damage, but overcorrect myself and... Please tell me that's still there. Okay, you know what? I don't need you. I got flying power. Not sure where I'm going here. That's where I'm going. Well, I missed a few bananas there, but oh well. If that's all it was, it's not a big deal. You know, it occurs to me that I should have totally checked what time I started recording. Does my little recording thing tell me the time? It tells me... Total frames? 
because knowing how many frames I've recorded is totally going to let me know how long I've been recording. Whoa, those you don't want to bounce on. Because you can't. Reason why I'm a little concerned about the time is, as I've previously stated, I kind of want to... Hmm. I can get that. I kind of want to keep these videos relatively short. I imagine there was a bird over there that I saw, and you bounce on it in order to get into the bonus barrel, if you don't have a spare Kong. But yeah, short videos. I noticed that episode 2 was longer than episode 1, and I have a feeling that's going to become a trend as these levels become bigger and harder. That's what she said. Basically, I'd like to be able to keep these videos under 20 minutes, but that's probably not going to happen. So, let's aim for... Whoop, that was close. Let's aim for 30 minutes. And in order to aim for 30 minutes, I need to find a place to quit. Because... I'm actually playing this on an actual console. Oh, there's a ditty barrel. And since I'm playing on an actual console, that means when I quit after every video, I'm turning off the physical game. And so, I'd rather not quit before I reach a save point. So basically, I'm going to quit at the next... Oh, this. The next available save point. Whoa, what the... Oh. That, that could have gone better. was like a raccoon trapped in the headlights. I know the saying is actually a deer trapped in the headlights, but you know, we're, us raccoons are kind of similar in a way. Like, we'll, we'll just stand there in the hopes that- oh gosh, please, 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 please! Ah! Ah! Bleh! Yeah, we just stand there in the hopes that whatever is approaching us doesn't notice us. Anyway, what I'm supposed to do on that gap up there is bounce on the barrels. And time the barrel jump. You know what? I really do want this. And time the barrel jump to get across. Because you know what? I kind of prefer to have Dixie for that because Dixie is going to make that jump a heck of a lot easy. Err. Screw to you! Hmm. Hmm. Can I do this? Yep. I mean, obviously, you're supposed to bounce on the right barrels, or bounce off the barrel in order to get up over there, if you don't have flying power. Where do you put me? That's not what I wanted to find out. How I wanted to find out. Wanted... I don't know what I'm saying at this point. This is the end of the level. There was stuff down here, though, and I want it. Oh, that's how you do that. You just go for it. He doesn't fire until you go for it. Wait, 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 no! I didn't want to go back into the bonus barrel. I wanted to... <sighs> as long as I'm here, I'd like to mention... Supposedly, it actually is possible to get a 1-up off of bouncing on enemies. But the game doesn't really give you a point to do that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to land on that again. 
There. Let's not waste time on that. Gosh dang it. Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. How do I get over there now? Wait. Hold on a sec. Oh, that's what I was trying- ah, It wasn't even a thing. I mean, it was a thing, but it was a thing I already did. Oh, well. Let's just finish this level. You know what? I don't need it. I'm about to quit. Could have popped on the screen a little bit sooner. Oh hey! We finally finished the level with Diddy Kong! Oh. DK coin. Missed the DK coin. Okay, got the DK coin there. Well, I'm definitely not gonna get this uh, video under 20 minutes now, am I? Let me see if I can figure out where it was. Alright, I figured out where it was. We're back at the start of our level. Head over to the right, get down into the bonus barrel. I already got the bonus barrel, but... If I go from here and hover to the right, it's right there. And from here, we can just go ahead and finish this section. And I will do that real quick, on account I want to get out here the normal way. I could start and select my way out of the level, and it will still count that I got the barrel. But trust me, I want to actually get out of this room right now. And then, I'm going to go ahead and run into the backside of a rat. Don't ask me why I wanted to do that, trust me, I wanted to do that. Alright, I have no idea how long this video is, and I don't want to risk this level over here taking this video too long. Now here I am again, worrying about video length. You know, the thing about streaming is, you don't have to worry about how long those videos go. You can just keep going until you're ready to end. Oh well. It was nice while it lasted. Anyway, since I am worried about video length, I'm going to go to... Oh wait, first, we got one more thing over here to do. Don't be nervous, we all want you to win, don't we folks? That's right, they're all behind you. So is this in front of a live audience then? Alright, last one. You, How many banana bunches would you have to collect to get an extra life? 5, 20, or 10. 10 banana bunches worth 10 bananas. That's the answer. That's what I'm looking for. Next one, please. Where did the beetle first appear during the first area of the island? I'm gonna say level 2. It was the first rigging level. What is the name of Diddy's ponytailed girlfriend? Did it? Trixie or Dixie? <laughs> Did it? That would be funny. Nice going, guys. Here's your prize. All right, I got three lives that I'm about to lose because I'm going to quit the game. Didn't they do well? All right, let's go ahead and... <sighs> For the sake of this video not running too long, I need to save again, which means going back to World 1 in order to save. Drop in on the other Kongs dudes, we're all here to help you guys. So since I'm going to be going ahead and end this, I should- oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Seriously. How long have I been doing Patreon shoutouts now? You'd think I'd be able to remember to do that every video by now. 
Anyway, down at the bottom is all of my current patrons. If you're a patron, you get your name down there. Anyway, we're ending this, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Unfortunately, since I have to save here, I'm going to have to take the time to... Actually, hold on a sec. Eh, we're already quitting. I've already got the stuff at the bottom of the screen. So, let's go ahead and save the game now. I was thinking of going ahead and spending my money over on... Cranky Kong thing. Well, let me check here. Eh, why not? No, I already saved. Half the price. Meh. Meh. Alright, let's do this now. Alright, just uh, spend the money on it. Hook, step, and jump is all you need to look for near the two dragonflies above you. Top sale trouble? Yep. That's the hint. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this. When I come back, I'm going to have to grab a couple more coins to get over to the place. Alright, I think I'm ready to end this. I have thought it over, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I need to get to. Oh wait, there is one more thing! Reminder! Tomorrow! I'm starting a big RPG Maker stream! of a big RPG Maker game, Ark Aerith. So that's going to be happening tomorrow, which means this game's not going to be happening tomorrow. And I'll take a couple, two or three days off from this game, because since that stream will be big, I'm going to need to take a break from it, because it's, people will want to watch that and not be bombarded by a really big stream, followed by even more videos. So, a couple days break after that will probably be a good idea. Anyway, this video is probably starting to get long, so I'm going to go ahead and edit it here, and next time we will continue into Crocodile Cauldron, although whether I finish it depends on time. We'll see, and I'll see you then!